Looking deeper into why a man charged with murdering his wife more than 20 years ago was released on bond. Michael Haim is charged with second degree murder in the 1993 death of his wife, Bonnie. Bonnie Haim was reported missing, and in that time, the cases had gone cold until the remains were found last year in the backyard of the home they once shared with their young son. Channel 4's Ashley Harding spoke to a local defense attorney about the process leading up to Haim's release. She joins us now live in studio. Ashley? Ethan, this is something of a complicated case. The judge here in Jacksonville originally denied bond in Haim's case, so his attorney challenged that decision by filing an appeal with the District Court of Appeals in Tallahassee. Now that is what led to his release. In early October, Michael Haim walked into a Duval County courtroom where he pleaded not guilty to the 1993 murder of his wife, Bonnie. Bonnie Haim's remains were found last year after workers started digging out an old pool in the backyard of the home the couple once shared. At that same court appearance, the judge in Haim's case denied bond, prompting his attorney to appeal the decision to the First District Court of Appeals. It worked. The first district court of appeals basically says that he is entitled to some bond, and obviously they set the bond at two hundred thousand dollars. Rhonda Peoples Waters is not associated with this case, but says in cases like this, the appellate courts weigh many factors when it comes to ordering a judge to set a bond. It's not something they take lightly. For example, she says the courts consider the charges against the accused. In Haim's case, his charge is murder in the second degree. They also look at the defendant's background to determine if he poses a flight risk. This was not the crime or the type of case where the judge could set the bond at no bond. Online records show Haim posted the minimum of his $200,000 bond and walked out of the Duval County Jail a free man. But that release doesn't come without conditions. Not only is Haim ordered to stay in the state of Florida, he must go to all hearings in his case. He also can't have any contact with Bonnie Haim's family members. And Michael Haim is due back in court again this Wednesday. We'll bring you any new updates in this case. For now, reporting live, I'm Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.